planet is recalibrating itself and preparing for this new cycle. With the help of other celestial bodies. So the sun and those flares that are hitting the planet is now creating a different electromagnetic grid or field for the planet. Everything on the planet has to realign. Even you. When you look at the sun and you look at the nine planets around it, you're looking at the model of an atom. You're looking at a nucleus, which is the hottest point in that structure. Why is it the hottest? Because it's the most what? Huh? There's the most energy. It is vibrating faster and higher than every other part of the molecule, the nucleus. It's the hottest. It has the highest vibration. Right? And the closer you get to the nucleus, the hotter it gets. And the faster the rotation. Okay. So the days on Venus and Mar Venus and Mercury, right, would be, then you got 24 hours here, would be the day will go by faster. The sunset and sunrise will go by faster there than here. Because you have a tighter pull. That gravitational pull of the planet, all nine planets are locked into that gravitational pull where the planets that are closer, they vibrate faster. Now, on an, elect, on an atomic level, when you're looking at electrons, you have what's called orbit, orbit, electron orbitals, just like you have planetary orbits. You have electron orbitals. You follow? And those orbitals, depending on how excited that electron is, that dictates where or which band of orbital that that electron goes. Because in on the atomic level, those electrons bounce from orbit to orbit, depending how, on whether or not they're excited. What dictates whether or not they're excited and how excited they are? Energy. The frequency of the surrounding energy will excite an electron to cause it to jump from a lower bandwidth with a lower frequency and a lower vibration rate to a higher bandwidth with a, high bandwidth with a higher frequency and a higher vibrational rate. Right now, the sun, and I'm going to put a parenthesis and put an S in there, suns, because they've now found out that you are now getting closer to another sun that sits in the Sagittarius area of the Milky Way closer to the center of the galaxy, which they're now realizing is a part of this solar system. They're finding out that this is not a one star system. Now, our bodies, because we're melanites, can take all energy from the electromagnetic spectrum, from gamma to X to U on down into radio and microwaves, take it recalibrate it and use it as energy. Turn it to energy. It's called photosynthesis. And they told you only plants did it. And they found out, they documented in journals. In journals. I'll get you a copy of it if you need it. Their doctors are saying your melanin and your hemoglobin in your blood performs photosynthesis. Generates or creates energy from the sun. As far as the vaccines, it's funny. <laughs> the only people that got that caught the flu were the people that got the vaccine. <laughs> people that didn't take the vaccine, they get the flu. Ain't nobody pay attention to that. The only vaccine your child needs is your breast. Mm -hmm. But our women think that breasts are supposed to be pumped up and put out in the shirt just to be looked at and forget that your child needs that to be functional. Right? So we forget that, we put them on Similac and Infamil and all this other crap, right? And now what you're doing, all you're doing is cloning your child for them. What they're doing is they're recloning your child. They're cloning your child for its whole endocrine system to shut down. Mm -hmm. In ancient Temerae, the endocrine system, right, or the system that sits along the chakra system of your body, right, that sits along the spinal <coughs> system that branches off, this endocrine system, is your tool for etheric or godly energy to come into your body. You call it hormones. The word hormone comes from the word ha in ancient Tamarae for haru. So you got hormones. 
One of the hormones is referred to as estrogen. The word estrogen, the first part of the word is ester from Ishtar, the Sumerian name for Isis or Aset. You follow? These are not coincidences. They are trying to destroy you through your endocrine system, which is your pathway to Godhood. Your body works off of chemistry. And when your body, your body is designed, when the sun comes out, right, or it appears to come out, and your brain, it triggers what's called serotonin. And it takes your brain into a beta state. You follow? Your brain rides on frequencies that dictate how your body responds, the chemicals that flood into it during what time of the day. So when the sun comes up, it tells your penal gland and your pituitary gland to disperse neurotransmitters to wake you up. Now at night, when the sun goes down, right, your brain starts to secrete melatonin, which takes you down into the alpha state, which is the state you want to be in when you meditate. Because at that point, you're, and that's the point when you're going to sleep, as you get right to the point to where you're still awake, but you're asleep at the same time because you're crossing over. You follow? That's the state that the melatonin takes you into that allows you to vibrate down into theta and, you know, to theta where that's when you sleep. So these chemicals are secreted to aid the body in that, in that process because once your body gets to that state, then it starts to rebuild itself, regenerate, rejuvenate, digest foods, take, take uh, nutrients where they're supposed to go. That's when your body triggers itself to do that. But if you throw that off, right, by doing, by doing things overnight that you normally would be doing in the day, like eating, et cetera, et cetera, you throw all of that process off and your body starts to go into chaos and get out of whack. Then eventually it's going to take its toll and it'll manifest as dis-ease. The helix, listen now, this is science, this ain't spookism. The helix in your DNA is a phone line. That's your method to tapping into the unknown to them that used to be known to you. To speak with your ancestors and communicate with them.